girls. I wanted to go ahead today and show you how I do one of my favorite go-to hairstyles. It's one of the ones I do when I'm usually in a rush. And it's also one of the ones that I can take out um, in the evening before bed and kind of let my hair relax while I'm sleeping. Um, and it's good to go for the next day. So um, this hair I actually washed yesterday. Um, and I went ahead and let it air dry so it's not perfectly straight. Like you can see some waves back here. Um, and underneath, especially, you can see that, how it's kind of wavy underneath. I haven't really taken the time to flat iron through it all the way, um, but the ends are mostly straight, and I also did right here around my face for the most part. Um, but this is going to go ahead and give me the base for a really polished ponytail that looks really, really cute with um, sweats, or um, it can be really dressy. You can put a jacket on and it looks really dressed up. So let's go ahead and um, do this. The um, tools I need, all I did was, uh, my hair's not even actually super brushed out. I kind of like the look of um, not freshly brushed hair, so it's been about an hour since I brushed it out. Um, but you're welcome to brush through it. I've done it plenty of times where I'm doing it first thing in the morning and brushed my hair right out. Um, I am using, this is a gold, really thick hair tie, um, and it's just, I chose this color because it's closest to the majority of my hair, so when it's in here, it kind of blends in. Um, if you want, I've done plenty of times, I've done a really bright hair tie, whatever you want to do. And I'm actually going to show you how to cover your hair tie up today and make it um, look really cute. I'm going to wrap it with hair. Um, so for that, I need two uh, bobby pins. And this just depends on the thickness of your hair. You may only need one. I would recommend at least two to make sure in case one comes loose or something, the other one's holding it. Um, but you may need more, um, just depending on the thickness of your hair. Um, and this... For this purpose, I think I've told you all before, I like the gold bobby pins because, again, they're close to my um, hair color. So just depending on if you're a really, you know, dark brunette, you may want the black bobby pins, but whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my teasing comb because I just want to make sure that right here at my part that things are really um, <clears throat> nicely situated. And that's really the only place I really need to worry about it. If you don't want to um, part your hair over on the side, I would recommend a really far side part. So like if I, let's even, I'm actually gonna move this a little bit, a little further over to make it a little bit more dramatic. So I've just added about an inch more. And I think a good rule of thumb if you're starting to part your hair and you're like, how far is too far? Um, anything past your eyebrow ends up looking like a comb over. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, I found a really good place is just kind of either the end of my eye or um, between the end of my eye and the my pupil of my eye, um, but typically at the arch of my eyebrow is a really just good place to part your hair. I've just found it looks great on a lot of people. Um, so that's just like a starting place if you're not sure. So all I'm gonna do is just comb this side over a little bit and I'm gonna use my hairspray. This is my Pantene that I've talked about. Um, it's in the five products under five bucks video if you wanna take a look at that to get the details about it. Um, but it's the Pantene. Um, level 4 maximum hold 24 hour hairspray and I'm just gonna lightly spray the top there and then comb so I don't have a bunch of flyaways right here and that's gonna help this look stay really polished okay so I'm gonna be turning a lot in this video because I want you all to be able to see as I work on the back and that sort of thing um, but I'm just gonna gather all of my hair together and if you notice I didn't pull it up I'm keeping it kind of low to start so I'm just pulling this down with my fingers. Make sure that you've got all the hair. There's nothing worse than like getting a really nice pony and then you've got like a tail of something stuck out. So I'm not too worried about the back. If you've got a really, really big bump, you might want to worry about that. But I'm not too worried about it. Just want to make sure all the hair is in this pony. And I'm going to go ahead and secure it. And then I am nearly where the pony's going to be too tight. I could go around one more time and it would be really, really tight. Um, or maybe um, your hair, because of the thickness of it, it, you actually find that it will not go around another time, but it's too loose um, to leave it without going around the extra time, but it's, it's not a big enough of a pony to go around an extra time. That's a really horrible problem, but this is going to solve that and it's actually going to create fullness to your ponytail and elongate it. It's going to make it look a lot longer. I've had people before tell me, 
oh my gosh, your hair is getting so long when it's in the ponytail. And I'm like, it's a lie. My pony's lying to you. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to turn around and show you this. I'm going to reach in and get, I've got the pony in this side here. And I'm going to grab like the top half of this ponytail. I'm just separating it with my thumb and my forefinger. Just like this, if I can be able to see this really good. See that? And I'm separating out a long section underneath and I'm gathering this top portion here. So you see how I've done that? I've got half of it up and half down. And I'm gonna wrap this extra portion around just the top half there. So there's pony elastic between the two sections of hair. And I'm just gonna pull that. And I'm gonna turn back around now to show you in the front and then we'll, I'll turn back around and you can see that. I'm pulling from the sides. And by pulling at the sides, I'm tightening all of this here, right around my face. Now I want to take my hands and just, I'm gonna step this way a little bit so you can see, because my hair is so dark, it matches the paint in my bathroom that's not fully renovated yet. Um, but I'm just pulling out some of these pieces so it's not too tight to my head. There we go. And again, pulling towards the bottom and the sides to move it around. There we go. Now I'm just going to, I'll turn around to show you this. I'm going to hold the top here and pull the bottom to kind of separate the two. And that's pulling my longest layers down and the shorter ones up and out to create some volume. And I just use my fingers to kind of get rid of the loops and things. Here we go. And then from the front, I can just kind of reevaluate the sides and things and see if it's got enough volume, et cetera, et cetera. But you can see how it creates, it makes it much longer. I might be able to see the, the back. And it bumps up that top section to create some extra volume. So then, um, if you don't want to wrap your hair tight, here's where you would just spray it and leave it. And it's a really awesome, just plain old ponytail. But I'm gonna show you how to wrap it. I'm gonna grab some hair from underneath. And I want a fairly long piece because I don't want to have to worry about it not making it all the way across. I wanna make sure you can see this. I'm grabbing a piece from under here, just a small section. Right, and it's closer to this side, so I'm going to actually wrap it this direction. And I'm going to come all the way around. All the way around. And I'm just going until my hair is used up. There we go. So I've got a tail left right here, and I'm just holding it to my head. And that's when I'm going to use my bobby pins. And just secure it by pressing putting the fold of the V of the bobby pin over that piece of hair and pushing it up into the ponytail. And then I'll do one more just to make sure it stays into the V of that pony, or the V of that section of hair and pushing it up. There we go. And I can just leave that there because this is gonna cover it. And now you can see I've completely covered that ponytail, I want to show you both sides. I've completely covered it with hair and it's really, really polished. And then I would just set everything with some hairspray. And you can, um, usually what I'll do is when I'm wearing it really, really low, I'll leave it really, really kind of sleek and together. Um, I would straighten the whole thing out and just leave it really, really straight. When I, um, and that would be positioned a little bit lower on my neck. If I'm gonna wear it higher up on my head, kind of like this one is, I like lots of volume in the back. So I'll just pull up that top layer and spray it. There we go. And it creates lots of volume and it's lots of fun. So I want you to be able to see that. There we go. 
So that is one of my favorite uh, go-to hairstyles. It's a really, really fun ponytail that um, works really well with a lot of different hair um, types and shapes. Everyone's good at doing a ponytail, but really sticking that elastic halfway through is really going to create some dimension in your hair um, when it's up in that ponytail kind of keeps it from being super boring. <laughs> and then um, just making sure that you do like a dramatic part or it's really fun to do like a sleek, slicked back look, which I'll show you um, in a different video for the sock bun because that's another one of my favorites um, that I will show you all next. So just make sure um, if you want, you can actually, some of this hair, please don't pull out like two strips of hair right here. That's from like 91. <laughs> Um, but if you want it to be a little bit looser, you can kind of just play with this and you can see my shorter layers are already coming out here and just tuck them behind your ear and that kind of softens this look up around your face instead of being so slicked back. But sometimes it's really nice um, if you are dressing up, you know, with a cute tank top or dressy top um, and a pair of like skinny jeans or something to really have a really sleek, um, polished and tight ponytail. So. Um, play around with it and see how you like it, see how it wears on your head, see what your favorite things are to do with it, um, and, you know, have lots of fun. Sometimes you can braid that little piece and wrap it around your hair um, to create a little bit of a difference. You could put a bump here, um, a teased out bump in the front of your hair and pin that before you put the pony in. It would look really cute. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, if you've got kids, this is a great way to do their hair. Um, also, you could do two of them and they're really cute, really big pigs, um, and it looks really, really nice. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and that you all start rocking out the awesome polished pony because it's a lot of fun and it looks awesome and it's super easy. <laughs> so enjoy guys. I'll see you next time.